We begin tonight with arguably one of the happiest men in Chicago. That guy right there, surrounded by his sisters and a niece. Damon Weston was just released after spending 29 years in prison for a murder he didn't commit. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey has his first thoughts on freedom and the fight it took to get there. Brad and Erica, Damon Weston was just 17 years old when he was charged with the murder of a 19-year-old named Joseph Watson. Today, Weston's conviction has been thrown out, and the 46-year-old is back with his family for the first time in nearly three decades. Right now, is, oh, I think at this point, I can just be someone else's hope in terms of a light that they can see and point to and say, okay, he made it. And I haven't made it yet. But what I did today is I survived incarceration. Now, for his first meal, Weston had a feast. He ate pizza and a roast beef sandwich from a restaurant in Dixon. He also tried something new, a fried pickle. Just yesterday, special prosecutors said they did not believe there was sufficient evidence to prove Weston's guilt. Weston had always maintained that detectives beat him into a confession during a 12-hour interrogation back in 1990. There was no physical evidence connecting him to the crime. The detectives that Weston accused of abusing him had worked under the command of disgraced Chicago police commander John Burge. Burge served three years in prison for lying about the torture of suspects he died last year. When that stuff came out about birds, now it's like I'm not the only one. And I, and, and I hate to, I don't know how, how you say this in terms of finding out you're not the only one. I hated that it happened to somebody else, but at the same time, I don't understand if people understand the relief to find out it didn't just happen to you. Now, Weston is not eligible for a wrongful conviction payout from the state, but he could still pursue a civil lawsuit. Live in the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Brad and Erica. All right, Megan, thank you.